Gulfstream's G600 mock-up is making its debut at NBAA this year. Let's go inside and take a look. Gulfstream's new Symmetry cockpit being introduced on G500 and 600 has a number of industry-leading new features. And among these are the industry's first active side sticks. And it makes these side sticks feel like they're mechanically linked even though they're electrically tied together. Also, touchscreen controls replace the traditional control display units. It's a little bit like iPhone for avionics. They're all icon driven and it makes it very easy to select functions and program the FMS. That same theme is carried over into the overhead panels where we have three touch screens that be configured to operate any system on the aircraft and a number of other functions. This allows the aircraft to be displayed with one of those three screens inoperative. The head-up display is standard equipment. It has a 42-degree wide field of view, and it's linked to the latest generation EVS-3 Elbit Systems IR camera for low visibility approaches. The four 14-inch displays in the Symmetry cockpit are carried over from today's plane view system. New for this airplane are wider and easier to see standby flight instruments. The flight guidance panel is much simpler. Speed, lateral nav, vertical nav, and that's it. Pratt & Whitney Canada provided one of the highlights of this year's NBA by launching this engine, the PW800. Rated at 16,000 pounds, the engine will power the two new long-range Gulfstream jets, the G500 and G600. More importantly, perhaps for the bigger propulsion story, it also fulfills a wider part of Pratt & Whitney's longer-term destiny to use many applications from one core. In this case, the PW800 is using the same core as the new gear turbofan engine developed by Pratt & Whitney for Bombardier C-Series airliner. Designed largely in secret over the past six years, the PW800 is an engine that began life for a smaller aircraft, Cessna's Citation Columbus. This was cancelled in 2009, and the development of this larger version subsequently began as part of Gulfstream's P-42 project. The interesting thing about the P-800 in this version is that the core is easily accessible through these large panels here, a feature which was brought in by the users of the engine and the future operators of this engine and the Gulfstreams. This has given classic access of unprecedented ease to the core of the engine which you can see behind me. The PW800 is the largest engine Pratt & Whitney Canada has ever produced. To make it into the engine that it is for the Gulfstream application, Pratt & Whitney Canada developed an all new low pressure system to wrap around the high pressure core. The engine itself is encased within an integrated propulsion system. It's an integrated nacelle and thrust reverser developed by Nordam. One of the main features of this is a shell system in which the two ends of the reverser overlap, producing a much more efficient thrust reverser system.